What's your first topic? Let's actually bring some value to the other people listening. I think my first topic um, was based on people who receive feedback and taking it emotionally rather than constructive. That's um, is is something that I found. I see it all the time. Yeah, it's very common. Um, you know, I've been put in situations where you need to give constructive feedback, and a lot of the time it's met with a high level of emotion that it. it puts you off it, it makes it not very constructive the actual meeting itself uh, and it's just trying to figure out a way around that to turn it back to focus on the constructive side of this feedback not just hey it's okay like you, you'll be okay don't yeah. cry about it but i think it's interesting because some people get worked up over everything um like so many people just this can't take any criticism but then other people like i know for myself there's there's certain topics that I will sort of get worked up over, um, not much because I'm, I don't know, I'm okay at that. But still, I think everyone has certain things that will just kind of get to them. Um, so everyone has it, but yeah, for sure. I think it's an interesting, it's an interesting because like, why do some people like not know how to regulate their emotions in that that time? Yeah, I think it's um, it's a, it's just kind of understanding what position you're in, um, in relative position to what they're in. You know, if I was a, if I was someone working side by side with a colleague or a friend, you know, the feedback I'd need to give them is very different to how I would if I was uh, managing an employee or helping out a brother or something like that. Um, so it's just kind of tailoring the feedback to the type of person they are and the position they're in. If you, if you told your colleague something that how you would speak to like a manager talking to a colleague, obviously they're going to get the shits out of you. Yeah, it's going to be very So different. you're being condescending. Yeah. They have every right to get emotional about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, if, from your end, if you're not doing that right, they're obviously going to get emotive about yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But um, I think it's just managing how you say it correctly um, and kind of making them... Well, it's empathy. You have to approach the situation yeah. from their point of view. Yeah. Very, especially if you're talking about like a debate or an argument or anything very little people will respond to you telling them they're wrong. But if you can have a empathetic approach, talk to them more from their angle, you're much more likely to end up having a discussion rather than an mm. argument. That's a really good point. Um, what's important for me is I need to do the research uh, from the other side. I don't want to enter into a discussion with someone who believes one thing and I only have my knowledge on one side. That's not a discussion, that's just a shouting match between two people who have very different opinions. If I understand what they're saying and I can at least show empathy, mm-hmm. listen, acknowledge, understand and say, well, look, I've done the research on this. This is what your side is saying. This is why I believe this. You know, and I would expect that to be reciprocated. 